Hello students, in this presentation we're going to talk about the differences between aerobic and anaerobic cellular respiration and then I'm going to um, give, a little, give a little bit more detail on anaerobic cellular respiration. Aerobic cellular respiration uses glucose and oxygen to make energy with the end products of water and CO2 goes through glycolysis, Krebs cycle, and electron transport chain and chemiosis. All right, so anaerobic cellular respiration uses glucose to make energy with the end products of lactic acid or alcohol fermentation. So this is how they make like your yogurts or actually how you make wine or beer. So here's the steps of the lactic acid cycle, or however you want to pronounce it. It goes through glycolysis, and after you get glycolysis, you get pyruvate. Well, that pyruvate gets converted to lactic acid. Alcohol fermentation, it goes through glycolysis. Pyruvate converts to acetylhyaline. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how it's spelled. And then that gets converted to ethanol. So here's what I just kind of drew up a diagram, maybe to make it a little easier. So you can see with acid fermentation, you got glycolysis, and then pyruvate gets converted to lactic acid, and the enzyme that catalyzes catalyzes this reaction is lactate dehydrogenase in alcohol fermentation it goes through glycolysis and then it goes it starts with pyruvate and that gets converted to acetylhyaline the word I can't say <laughs> and then that gets converted to alcohol and as you can see CO2 is released so that's just kind of a summary diagram of how that works so let's talk about cellular respiration types. Obligated aerobes must use oxygen. Obligated anaerobes can't use oxygen at all. Facilitative anaerobes can or cannot use oxygen. They can actually use it or not use it. So that's just kind of an overview of the difference between aerobic and anaerobic cellular respiration. I kind of hit on anaerobic a little bit more because there's really no materials out there that's able to find that really summarizes it very easily. So hopefully I did a good job with my, with my presentation and hopefully you understand it better now.